Whoops. <laughs> Alright guys, I accidentally just hit play on the video game before I got to make an introduction. Uh, this game is called Dolphin Blue, which is an arcade game that I believe was only released in Japan or something. We never got a physical release of it on consoles. And uh, I'm very interested to see how it works. Basically, someone leaked like the ROM for the arcade game and then someone ported it to the Dreamcast and then people all around the world have been burning the game onto Dreamcast uh, discs and uh, this is what you're looking at now this is actually being played on a Dreamcast and I'm hoping it all works all right it's kind of a 2.5d game and I love 2.5d games um, I don't know if this is just the uh, if this opening cutscene will play when I hit play, so I'll just let it play through real quick. I honestly can't believe they never released this physically, um, officially. I was also looking for other means of playing this instead of, you know, getting a, uh, like a homebrew copy of it. But, uh, okay, that's the game. I'm going to press the start button now. So I've heard that, uh, oh, I guess this is the, uh, the demo screen. I, I heard that it has pretty long loading times, uh, but it, it should work. I wanted to get this on my PSP somehow, but it looked like there was no way of getting it to run on a PSP. Oh, okay. Um, th there I am, and there's explosions. Okay, just give me a minute. I need to figure out the controls. That's weird. How do I shoot? Is that... Is this my only attack? Oh, okay. <laughs> you have to be pointing in a direction. Oh, gosh. Is it really one shot one? Okay. I'll figure this out eventually. So if you haven't been able to tell, this is supposed to be a... Uh, spiritual successor to Metal Slug and that was another reason why I got it because I am a huge fan of uh, Metal Slug. I wish I could have an arcade cabinet of it. I'm also really enjoying these graphics the like 2.5D style. In this time zone is always great because the the character art is fantastic um, it's not like pixelated like a lot of 2D art is nowadays and in the past when that was all you could do. Do I have unlimited continues? I think I do. I think this game was designed just for you to like throw quarters into it. Um, which makes this version uh, more affordable at the, at the end of the day. Man, I remember playing Mel Slug so much at uh, my local pizza place. And this is bringing back memories of that. I am noticing a lot of slowdown though. <laughs> it's not exactly the smoothest experience, but it's a functioning experience. It's really the only way to play this without emulating an arcade, I don't know, arcade ROM? Apparently it's it's hard to ar emulate arcade games because they all use their own proprietary system. Oh my gosh. I'm getting flashbacks of all the times I used to die playing Metal Slug as well. I wonder if this would lag more playing two-player or not. Jeez, and this is just level one. <laughs> Honestly, I thought this was going to play a lot worse. I thought um, there'd a lot be a lot more like characters just phasing in and out of the world. Uh, instead, it just seems to be 
a lot of slowdown. Although right here, I'm not sure if the slowdown was cinematic or not. I, I can guarantee that the load times are indeed long. Oh gosh, what is this? Okay, I'm glad that exploded, I guess. How do I jump without... I'm not sure if I can jump without using, like, a grenade. So, uh, what would be the circle button is jump. I'm not sure. I need to look at the controller to figure out... <laughs> what would that be? Y? No, it's B. Way off. Oh my goodness. We did it. Stage cleared. Well, that's stage one of Dolphin Blue. I'll see you guys next time. Uh, <laughs> are these wipeout rate 90%? That's actually pretty decent. Um, but I think I died way too many times to be saying anything was decent about that. Um, I guess we're on to stage two, which I'll play because I've only been recording for nine minutes. So if you have an early model Dreamcast that can play homebrew games, uh, this is a thing that you can get. The music is also pretty decent as well. Oh, maybe I should have gone then. Oh no. Oh, come on. There's a lot of uh, things that remind me of Metal Slug, like these giant warships that all the enemies have to be in. Oh my goodness! Can I ask the dolphin for assistance? I can. Thank you. Now what do I do? Can I just swim by this? Oh. Hey, there's the person who I think was kidnapped right at the beginning of this game. So this whole game is a rescue mission? Oh my gosh. Okay, I guess I'm not destroying that with this thing. I can tell this is an arcade game because when you don't have an upgraded gun, it expects you to be a button masher. And that's very difficult to do with just my thumb. <laughs> I'd prefer to use, like, my index finger, but I cannot because I am playing a Dreamcast. Send in the dolphin. Oh, I lost my gun. Well, that's just great. All right, we took out the, the head of the submarine thing. I don't know how it's still standing. Oh, I always am not expecting enemies to be like, okay, never mind. There is a jump button. I just lost my mind. I'm always, I'm not expecting the enemies to come up from behind me. I keep thinking they're allies. I kind of prefer these stages more than the dolphin stages, but they're both, like, they're both really good. It kind of changes up the gameplay just a bit. Like, these, obviously, you're controlling them a bit more. What the heck? Leave me alone. Oh, my dolphin's out there in the water. <laughs> this game's gonna make me want to get the, uh, Metal Slug games on PS2. I, I really wanted to collect those um, a while ago. Like, get the Metal Slug collection and then, like, a, some kind of arcade joystick for my PS2. But I've been trying to save money, and I, I thought getting this game would uh, quench my video game thirst for a little bit as it wasn't too expensive to get. This is just like my childhood. I'd be pumping so many quarters into this because I'm not good enough at the game. I'm never going to get good at the game because I can just keep pumping quarters into it. That level, I didn't really notice any slowdown in it. I don't know if I'm just getting used to it or not. Well, I'm sorry, Mario, but it appears the princess is in another castle. We have gotten a warning, though, for Giant Crusher Tank. Oh, wow, that worked. Gosh, I really don't like being stuck with this semi-automatic... Oh, here we go. Ugh. 
I honestly don't know how to dodge this guy's attacks. That's how you just have to never move from the far left of the screen. We did it, Dolphin Bro! We defeated the giant tank monster enemy thing. It only took us 10 minutes. Which, I guess that's about right. So it's basically Metal Slug if you're fighting an entire country's navy, I think, with a dolphin. I don't know how far I should play into this. Like, how, how long's the game? Can I just, like, beat it in one sitting? Alright, it's me and the dolphin again. It's interesting because I, I'll switch through each um, game mode. And at the beginning of each one, I'm excited for it, regardless if I'm on dolphin or on foot. It kind of splits the gameplay up perfectly between the two. I wish I had more ammo, though. Yeah, I definitely need more games like this. I'm, I gotta get the Metal Slug games in the future. I have them on my PSP, but there's something about playing it, like, with a controller that makes it so much more satisfying. <laughs> oh, another good game is the Gunstar Heroes on the Game Boy Advance. I've never been able to beat it though. <laughs> I'm like on the final boss. I did beat the original Gunstar Heroes. Um, it's a really fun game. I, I'm looking at how chaotic this is and I'm kind of shocked how I'm not lagging. Oh, we got a helicopter. These were always a pain to take out in Metal Slug. <laughs> How many bullets does it take? My thumb cannot take this. Switching to pointer finger. There we go. <laughs> oh, we're still chasing after him. Man, it must... Like, I remember giving a certain amount of money and then, like, running back to my mom being like, please, can I have another dollar? Because if I don't get it within 20 seconds, I won't be able to uh, continue the game. And, uh... I, I can't imagine, like, that being the main form of gaming. Like, I had a PS2 at home, at least. I can't imagine growing up, like, in the 70s and, and 80s and the main way of playing games is at the arcade. Man, this... This is a laggy level. I don't know why, I guess because of all the, the sprites that are on screen? Are these even considered sprites? It's also kind of hard to play this uh, level because you can't shoot behind yourself when you're on the dolphin. I think I should stop after this level, but uh, I just want to keep playing because the game's so good. <laughs> okay, we took out the mini tank boss. Is there another boss coming up? I think I'm going to uh, call it here, but yeah, it's just it's just more game. So uh, thank you guys for watching this. I, I, I if you like Metal Slug, you'll like this. Um, looks great. All I can say is the Dreamcast version lags some. I th I thought the problem with the Dreamcast version was going to be like characters kind of clipping in and out maybe shots not registering or, or like something like they might have limited it to make it run better but instead of limiting it to make it run better it's just it just runs kind of slow when there's too much going on which is odd because sometimes like right now it's running perfectly fine and there seems to be plenty going on <laughs> Uh, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next video, which will hopefully, um, be up in the next week. I try to upload weekly. Sometimes that doesn't happen. Sometimes, though, I upload more than once a week, so I guess you'll have to subscribe to find out. <laughs>well guys welcome back um i actually made it to the final level so i just thought you know what for the heck of it why not just record it 
Uh, I've been dying quite a lot. I I think I, I skipped over two stages? Or like I didn't record two stages? But I've recorded most of the game. And uh, I guess skipping over those stages will give you guys a reason to get it yourself so you can see the whole thing. So we're kind of like storming the castle, I guess. And there was a... There was like a... In the previous level, there was like a battle and we lost one of our ships. But uh, me and my dolphin friend beat the final boss and now we're here. As you can see with your eyes. Are we already here? Oh, we gotta break down this door. It's so hard to button mash on a controller while still moving and jumping. I guess there was a, um, a perk to arcade gaming. Alright, rush the, the castle. Hello, Nurse Joy. Uh, what are we doing here? There's ninjas. Oh my gosh, there's so many uh, places to die here. Oh, jeez, it's so difficult. I like the 3D elements in this level, but it is a very difficult level. Hey, it's you again. Wait, why'd you fall? Well, thank you for that. It was very useful. You should probably get someplace safer than this. Gosh, I can't get past this. I gotta use this pea shooter. What? I could have sworn I was pointing to the left. Why did my character shoot upwards? Okay, whatever. I'll use my uh, riches to buy me infinite lives. My gosh, I didn't expect this mini boss to be so difficult. Alright, I think this is it. Oh, no. They're packing everything into this final mission. There's our planes. Bombarding whatever enemy base this is. It's like a mix of... I don't know. The Axis powers and... Some... Evil Studio Ghibli movie guy. This is insane, the amount of enemies. That is a useful technique. Do what I just did if you're playing this. We did it! We found Hitler. He lives inside a, a giant... ...thing. Is that the final enemy? They look like a clown. Who are you? Oh, you have unpredictable chaotic missile things, I see. I need my dolphin for backup. Goodness, this is insane. Can you just explode, please? Okay, I think I've died three times and have made no progress. And by died, I mean I've used three continues. <laughs> okay, finally. Now what is happening? Oh, you put spikes below your thing. Devious. I think I noticed that every upgrade has a different, um, ultimate. I could be wrong, but it seems like that's the case. How oh, is he still alive? Okay, we might have got it. It's exploding. There's probably going to be a final battle after that. I don't know. Seems like we did it. I don't know, that's some big explosions. Oh, come on! The dolphin and me still have to finish this. Alright, so he nuked his own castle. Now it's up to me and the dolphin to, I guess, rescue the princess? I'm not sure who she is. But this guy kidnapped her, and the military is peeved about it. We got through one. How many guns does this boy have? Well, it, I guess the slowdown is helpful for me here, because it... Oh, it's no longer slow. It was helping me dodge. 
Right, one more gun. I assume. Right, what else do you have? There can't be anything left. Oh, he's a little angry. I messed up his hat. He's got a, a Triforce laser gun. I'm getting the feeling I'm supposed to destroy this thing before he uses it, but I don't get the chance to. Because there's about a hundred other things going on. And the dolphin only attacks left to right, not right to left. Okay, I dodged it for once. Why is it so hard to defeat this guy? I still went down. Alright, we got this. We oh, never mind, I don't have a weapon. Uh there's no way this is gonna work. Was this a lock on thing? No. But it does a lot of damage. Come on. Come on. This thing really needs a health bar. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Oh my gosh, we did it. full of enemies. I don't know why it needed to be. Is it finally over? Yes! Congratulations! We saved the random girl who I guess is a princess because the military was helping her. Oh, I get to leave my initials for everyone uh, who will play this Dreamcast after me, who will clearly see... Oh, I was gonna do APAF, but I should have known. <laughs> was that it? No, uh, ending cutscenes? Nothing? Oh, there, there's ending artwork. The kingdom was at peace for a brief moment. Does that mean there was supposed to be a sequel? Well, it, uh, looks like they were, uh, leading up to a sequel, but, uh, we saved the day, and, um, here are the credits for this now, how old is this game? 20 years? 2003 was 20 years ago, oh boy. Well, uh, I'll just let this roll, and... Now I truly will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.